Hello everyone, welcome back to Study for Us once again. Through this video, I'm going to talk about the forms of simple present tense. When you hear the word forms, the first thing that comes into your mind is basically the forms that we fill. But those are not the kind of forms that I'm going to talk about. Today, I'm going to talk about the forms which would help us to make use of simple present tense in order to uh, meet our day-to-day -day requirements that we need to get done through English language. Simple present tense English Madin Ogalangi Edinida me Avasha Kerna Veda Katitu Ita Sarthaka Keragan Emata. Forms of simple present tense. Now, when we talk about the simple present tense, I hope that uh, most of you all must have watched my previous videos where I have discussed about the simple present tense in a detailed manner. But uh, for the benefit of those uh, who have not watched, those videos i would like to put up a simple structure of a, a simple present tense a sentence basically subject and verb essential it's a must have but object is not compulsory it could be optional okay among it and i'm calling videos of will umbrella killer a video sorry mama it are the ego washing saga chakra latino me simple present tense arc with in gana no cut through in a key no cut to tommy a walk you create a kernel then it up you long it up with you know with an amoeba bigger work with my career cut through is in kernel me object to my a career or a me a walk a career when she do in a pretty party labana uh, there okay so it is important for us to learn this structure because uh, now when we talk about the forms you will realize so all what happens is basically these uh, components which are required for the formation of a sentence is basically uh, you know changing their places within the structure again me api me aakrutin pilibanda weduna addine kirimi edi ogalanda wate he godak kalata me eka aakrutikin thawa aakrutiyekata sidu wenne me angeyange e me thiyena structure eke engolang hobona sthaniyan wala yam kisi wenas weemak pamanai kiyala so let's uh, look at the uh, first form that we are going to discuss there are mainly three forms that we are going to discuss so under that the first uh, type that we are going to discuss is the statement form so let's take a small example just to make it you know very uh, sort of uh, you know uh, clear for everyone so we'll take i as the subject okay i can name it mama again me palavini statement form statement form statement statement I drive I drive a car I drive a car now, when you say I drive a car, we have the subject here, we have the verb drive, and then what what do I drive? I drive a car. Car is the object. So I is the subject, drive is the verb, car is the object. Okay. So here I think I have again talked about this using I as the subject. So when you use a pronoun as a subject of a sentence. We call it as a subjective case, and under subjective cases, we have uh, you know three main divisions. So I comes under first person, first person, first person, 
you know uh, first type of uh, subjective case is I then we can use here V then it can be me saranam padaya vaakya ka katu vidhiriyodana kota api ekata kiyana subjective case ekak kiyala e atate api subjective cases warga karana pradana kotas tunakata first person second person third person kiyala me first person yatate inna palaweni saranam padaya thamai i kiyanne deweni saranam padaya thamai v kiyanne so if we use v as the subject we can again write the same sentence as we drive a car then we have the second type of subjective cases that is second person so we just have one you know a pronoun that comes under that category that is you so if we use you as the subject we can say you drive a car right yeah ඊළඟට අපි දෙවෙනි subjective cases type එක තමයි second person කියන්නේ second person එකට දෙන මේ සරණාම පදය තමයි you කියන්නේ okay then if we say you nothing changes only the subject changes verb and the object remains the same එතන අපි you කියන පදයේ දුවහම එතන drive drive my verb එක එළඬ object එක එකක් then we have the third type that comes under subjective cases that is the third person is it third person now under third person first type we have he she it so third person he she it can be singular can be singular me pronouns thamai me third person yana he she it kiyanne etokata api me api it kiyana eka athara me yodanna baya mokada it kiyanne api yam kisi me satwa ekta ho ehemat naththam panna nathi deya ආමන්ත්‍රණය කිරීමේදී so we here we are talking about driving a car so i'll take off it here so if we say he or she you can say he or she drives a car drives a car so here you see some difference that happens we are adding a s so i have told you in third person uh, under he she it the uh, you know the main uh, the verb form that follows the subject okay that comes immediately after the subject we have to uh, add an es or es to the end of that uh, main verb form so then the third person plural pronoun we have is they they then you can say again they drive a car they drive a car okay so they again plural again uh, the main verb it changes back to its main form we have to take the s away and we just write the uh, verb in its main form again uh i mean you oh i motor ya padawano ehema netta metana kiyenawa own uh, motor at ya padawanawa okay so um, simple present tense so this is all what you need to know when it comes to the statement form now let's see when we change this form to the next form what will happen so we'll change from the statement form to negative form so there is something called the negative form So when you say negative, what do you understand by negative? Negative form. Yeah, negative. Can I be at the moment? Me. Up it. I. Can I do it? Well, yeah. Virudha artya. Virudha artya. So I get hanging at the. Okay. Can I? The statement form again. I am giving precaution. I am giving. The precaution is the virudha artya. Then me. We did he. Precaution. I am giving. I am giving negative form. Me. Can I? Bala portu. When I see the when I. So. here just to demonstrate the negative form we will have to do a small structural change again mama over prakasha kara idira meka form ekin thawa form ekata maaru wenawa da moolika wahin sidu wenne me me components ina me structure ekak api yoda ganna me subject verb object me wage sthanayan maaruwak wenawa e wageema 
මේකට අලුතෙන් අපි යම් කිසි කම්පොනන්ට්ස් ඔබ්බ වීමකුත් සිදු වෙනවා බලමු කොහොමද වෙන්නේ කියලා so here now all what we have to do is very simple okay now verb and object it will stay as it is so we we move the subject to the left extreme left because we need to squeeze in two more components okay so we write subject here and then we need a helping verb here helping verb and then we use the word not so we have squeezed in basically a helping verb and the word not okay so this is how now we are going to transform from the uh, simple present tense from the a uh, statement form to the negative form again abhi mitan dikhe re me aluthen me me structure ekata deka me kaanda deka ebbewa api helping verb ekak koi not kiyana padeyai balamu kohomada meka den me vidiyata api meka negative form ekata haravanne kiyala me udaharanama use me pavichi karala we will use the same examples in terms of transforming from the statement form, form to the negative form so here now we have said i drive a car in the statement form in the negative form all what happens is i we can leave it as it is and then uh, we write i api i will to pass a helping verb back to the number then do kiyala do i do a helping verb then it pass api then not kiyana padi yodana so we are we are using i So we use the the helping verb do and then not and then we write the same uh, example as it was. I do not drive a car. Okay, so it's very simple. So all what happens is here, as you can see, this is the helping verb. Okay, and this is not. So subject is still there. okay and drive a car as it was so nothing has changed so all what we uh, did is actually we just squeezed in do and not those two words in between subject and the main verb again api kare me do not kina pada deka me wakya re bewa me katruy kriya padayai me murika kriya padaya atarata so Let's look at the next example. Now, here also, what happens is we can write the same thing again. We do not drive a car. Okay. So we do not drive a car. And as you can see, we have we do not in between. the subject and the main verb okay and then the you so what happens nothing changes so all what we do is we say you do not drive a car okay we say you do not drive a car so the same thing we squeezed do not the word, two words do not in between the subject you and the main verb dry the rest remain the same now let's look at the third person he she so here what do you reckon so can we uh, write do now so we have to now add es to the end of the do i mean going by the same uh, rule again man kiwa metana me ඒ සී කියන පදය අපි යොදනකොට මේ ඒ verb එකේ main form එකට අපි add කරන්න ඕනේ කියලා ES හරි S හරි දැන් මෙතන අපි ඉස්සර drive එකේ add කරේ S විතරයි මෙතන අපි අපි පොඩි වෙනස් කමක් සිදු කරනවා ඒක තේරුම් ගන්න ඕන හොඳට helping uh, verb instead of we are writing do we are writing here does does okay does not Does not drive. 
try ka so it's important so you remember and if you change now once you change the helping verb do to does and the main verb form that follows immediately after that always it has to be in the main form in the main verb form you don't change that again you don't go and add an s to the end okay i hope it's clear again api den metana me helping verb ekka me pawachchi karana kota api me do ekka das kara etokota me not kina pade ehema me yeduwa namuth ara api isella he she ekka drives kin liwata den metana ekka isella api me helping verb ekka change kara thin inda me do inda das walata api metana i drives kila liyanne ehema liwot ekka value so and they drive a car so what happens here instead of they drive a car you can say and they do not drive a car okay so they do not drive a car you again squeeze in do not in the sense sentence in between uh they and drive katruha me kriyavathanata do not kina paraddeka ebbewa can they metana me own vahanayak padawanne ne so then let's see the third form the last form okay now we are going to now transform the negative form to what the question form okay the question form again abi komada me meka prashnayak widiyata ahanne kiyala question form change so again as i told you all what we do is we are just changing the components of the structure me ආකෘති මේ මේ ස්ට්‍රක්චර් එකේ තියෙන මේ දේවල් එහා මෙහා වෙනස් කිරීමක් තමයි මෙතනදී සිදු වෙන්නේ so all what happens is when we are transforming from the negative form to the question form we take off this not this not it goes away and now we have to swap these two again මේ not කියන පද යනවා ඊට පස්සේ අපි කරන්නේ මේ දෙක මාරු වීමක් කරනවා i අපි සබ්ජෙක්ට් එක ගේනවා helping verb එකේ පිටිපස්සට okay so all what we do is so the helping verb it moves to the front and then helping verb moves to the front we have brought the subject back to the place that it was can it api not kiyana pade ayin kara ida passe subject e helping verb ekai swap karana yana deka so let's see actually how it will affect the um, sentences that we have already discussed then methana then methana api karanni me not kiyana ga ayin kara kiya pu widiyata ida passe me deka swap karana etukata then methana i do kiyana ga api i do kiyana wenas karana do i kiyala do i do i drive a car ekella akata yodana onna question mark okay make a sample and do i drive a car then the second one also the same thing we first take the not away and then we just swap you know do and we do we do we drive a car and then you have to uh, put a question mark at the end okay next one is also the same very simple okay here what happens is okay we first del- uh, erase the not and then we swap you know the words do and you do you do you drive a car do you drive a car okay it's very simple isn't it so then the la the, the the third person the first example we take the not away and then what happens is does go to the front we do a swap between does and he she he or she so we can say does he or she but here again this one change it will remain as drive because uh, since we have does you know at the beginning of the sentence and then let's look at the last example so not 
it goes away and we swap bit we do a swap between do and the here put the question marks okay and say do we drive a car okay so it's very simple okay with that uh, i would like to wrap up today's video with the hope of um, you know getting back to you all uh, through another video uh, very soon till then thank you